This is just a quick unboxing video. I'm going to show you what's inside the box and how everything works. So I'm going to open it here. You just have some packaging. I'm going to take everything out first. This is going to be your media box. And this is your remote. And inside the box should be your power cord and an HDMI cable. It's kind of a short cable, so you may want to, if you have your own, or you may want to go purchase a longer one if you need a longer extension. All right, and then I put in two batteries for you for the remote and your uh, your information card instructions on how to you know the, the main page which is an Android page kind of gives you some things I'd recommend going through this and just kind of getting the basis of uh, what the box is and how it works I'm just gonna go through the main components right now let me undo this and whoever gets this box I apologize for unwrapping everything there's a remote. First thing I want to go through is the remote. That's the most important part. So what you have here is uh, your, your main buttons that you're going to use is this back button right here. All right. And when I say back button, that's the button I'm going to be talking about in the future videos that you watch. This is your home button. This is going to get you out of Cody. And when I say Cody, I mean Cody's going to be the program that, that you're watching your movies from. Um, this is going to get you to your Android page. So the two components of this box is an Android page and uh, the Kodi program. Okay, so this is going to get you to your home page, which is going to bring you to your main page, which is your Android page. This is your menu button. You're going to use this from time and time again uh, to uh, watch um, trailers, uh, to get information, to open up applications. Um, and get a little bit more detailed information. This button right here is basically your cursor or you want to call it your mouse. Um, occasionally you're going to have to use the mouse and what you do to use it, uh, this, works, this works as a functioning remote control like any other remote, but occasionally you're going to need to use your mouse and what you do is you hold this button down, one, two, three, and let go. And then on the, on the uh, screen, if you move your directional buttons up or down or left or right, the cursor, the blinking arrow, should pop up onto your screen. Um, if for some reason it doesn't work the first time, you hold it down again, a few seconds, let go, move your directionals, and you should see it on the, on the screen. And you, what you're going to do to move it is move your directional button up, left, right, or down to get to whatever it is you need to do. Once you get there, you're going to push OK. All right. It's very important because occasionally you're going to need to use that. And if you don't watch this video, you're not going to know how to do that. <laughs> so that's that, um, you know, and everything else is basic. Um, these are your sound bars, uh, volume up, volume down. And this is your power button. If you want, you can, you know, uh, program your TV into it so you can turn the media box off and you can turn your TV off. Um, and the directions are in that uh, that booklet. But these two volume, and I'll show you in a, in a more detailed video, there's uh, different things you can do with the volume. So you're gonna use your remote initially, your TV remote with this to kind of get it set to where you want it. Okay, so there's the remote, home button, back button, uh, mouse or cursor, whatever you wanna call it, menu button, directionals, and you're okay, all right, volume, and power. All right, I'm going to open up the box here and get a look at this. There's a couple components on here. Okay, so just a regular box. You got some ventilation, so when you set this up, you want to set it up on a flat surface so the air can go in and out of this because the box does have, you know, does have uh, uh, computer components in it and you don't want them getting overheated. Um, so you want to put this on a flat surface and make sure there's air flowing underneath this. All right, um, just the MKQ box. 
Um, and right here you have a, a, an SD, a mini SD card. You can put more storage on your box or you can uh, add movies. Um, if you have something stored on an on a, on a SD card, you can put it in there and watch it through the box. You have uh, uh, three USB ports. These can be used for your key, keyless or your wireless mouse. And if you purchase one, these are these come in great. You just stick, there's a dongle that's inside the remote. You stick it in there and then you turn on your remote, your, key, your keyboard, and you'll be able to uh, use that wirelessly. All right, so there's a US. You can uh, you know hook different diff diff different things up through that. And then over here, you have another USB port, so you actually have four. Uh, this is audio video. Um, if you have like an older TV with the um, with the red, yellow, and white plugs, this is your HD uh, plug, which this is for. This plugs into the back of that, which also plugs into the back of your TV. These are this is your Ethernet. If you're not if you're choosing to use Ethernet, this is where that goes, and that usually comes out comes from your router. Um, this also has Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi built into it, so you can. Um, if you don't have an Ethernet or it's not close enough, you can always set up to Wi-Fi. Ethernet is the fastest way. You'll get a little bit more faster speeds on the box. And your 5-volt power cord, which is right here. All right? And you plug that in there, plug that into the socket, and you're ready to go. And I put in, threw, threw in two batteries for you for the remote. So those are that's all you need to know about the box. And um, go on to the next video, and I'm going to give you an introduction of how to set up and get started. Okay, thanks.